and sit down. The EV, pronounced V not 5, selling for $799 to start, $1,599, is an unlikely story. This 12.3 inch, detachable 2 in 1 started its life on Helsinki based tech company EVE Technicians Forums, where a community of users argued and collaborated over the specs they wanted. The concept found its way to Indiegogo, where it was funded, and now, it's shipping. So, how did it turn out? Too many cooks can spoil the broth, but the EV is a solid first attempt. The community's decision to go with a weak Intel Y series CPU is questionable, and the battery life isn't great. But a stunning design and one of the best displays I've seen this year make this machine worthy of consideration, as long as you trust an unproven company. Design. The EV is built like a champ, and if you told me any massive, established laptop vendors who had produced it, I would believe you. There's one exception. There's very little branding, which I appreciate. The black, aluminum tablet has very little flourish on the back, except for a small, almost unnoticeable upside-down triangle, the EV logo, at the very bottom. The kickstand pulls out from the side like what happens on a Microsoft Surface Pro, and it's the only part that feels a little flimsy. Though I had no issue with it standing on my desk, it felt cheap, and I found myself wishing it were a little thicker. Under the kickstand. There's a fun pattern of EV and EV Tech Logos, which adds a bit of surprise whimsy that I appreciated. The keyboard cover is a great imitation of the surfaces, made with Alcantara fabric and providing a connection to the tablet via pogo pins. The keyboard has some of its own whimsical surprises, the backspace button is labeled oops. Which I think is kind of silly but gave several of my colleagues a good laugh. One of them called it a door cable. Comma, the V key is marked with the EV logo. And pressing function plus V unearths what I think is the machine's coolest secret, multicolored backlighting. You can switch among seven colors, including purple, red, blue, green and cyan. A very thick bezel surrounds the 12.3 inch, 2880x1800 display, but there are no logos on the front like you would see on a 2-in-1 from a major vendor. In fact, there's not even an Intel sticker on this thing. At 3 pounds with the keyboard cover. 2 pounds on its own, and 11.6 x 8 x 0.3 inches, the EV is both a little larger and thicker than competitors, which EV Tech tells me is a trade-off for battery life. The Surface Pro is 2.4 pounds with its type cover, 1.7 without, and 11.5 x 7.9 x 0.3 inches, while the Lenovo Mi 720 is 2.6 pounds with its keyboard, 1.7 pounds on its own and 11.6 x 8 x 0.6 inches. The EV set of ports is the best among the 2-in-1's competitors. On the left side, you'll find a headphone jack, USB Type-C port, Thunderbolt 3 port and USB 3.0 port. On the right, there's another USB 3.0 port and a fingerprint reader. The micro SD card slot is hidden behind the kickstand. Microsoft has only now introduced USB Type-C on its Surface Book 2 and you still can't find it, not to mention Thunderbolt 3, on the Surface Pro. The Mi X720 has only one Type-C port. Display. The 12.3-inch, 2880x1800 display on the EV was built to impress. The company said that every single unit is individually calibrated, and, honestly, I believe it. When I watched a 1080p trailer for I, Tanya, Actress Margaret Robbie's blue leotard practically glowed against the background of an icy, white skating rink, and I could see every shaving against the edge of her skate's blades. The EV screen covers an excellent 129% of the sRGB color gamut, passing the average 102% and just shy of what you get from the Mi-X, 130%, and Surface Pro, 140%. It's the brightest of the field by far, at an average of 442 nits. The average is just 288 nits, and the Mi-X, 361 nits, and Surface Pro, 
396 nits, were dimmer than the EV.